Have you ever been in this situation? You are hosting a live webinar and you are screen sharing. You have a lot to show, but you don't want 15 tabs open all the time. So you decided to just type everything in Google. Well, that costs a lot of time and making typos in these situations isn't very professional. Sounds familiar? Then watch this video because I've got the perfect piece of gear for you. The Elgato Stream Deck. This is part one of a two part series. So you can see this first video as an introduction. And in the second part, we will customize and use our Stream Deck. So let's start with a question. What is the Stream Deck? The Elgato Stream Deck is a customizable control pad with a USB connection. And by customizable, I mean that you can change the function of 15 LCD screen buttons and even create macros. It is designed to serve as a video game live streaming control device. You can also use it in your webinars or any other live stream. You can also use it to make your life behind the computer just a bit easier. Now you know that, let's install the software and take a look. First, we need to download the Stream Deck software. So go to the Elgato website and scroll all the way to the bottom. Here you will find a tab that says support. Below that, click on downloads. Here you need to select your product and your operating system. Because this is a video about the Stream Deck, I will go to Stream Deck and select Stream Deck, which is the one that we have. Click on it. My operating system is Windows, so click on Windows. And then click on Download. Once downloaded, click on the application. Then follow all the steps in the wizard. Click Next. I agree. This location is fine. And then click on Install. Now the Streamix software is completely downloaded. So let's dive into the software. So here we are in our new freshly downloaded Stream Deck software. And the first thing you will notice, of course, is that there are 15 buttons on my screen and those are the same 15 buttons on my Stream Deck. You can see that by the small arrow that is at the bottom right of my screen and as well on Stream Deck. And that's because that I want to tell you one thing, but we go a lot deeper in the second part. Because if I press this button right here on my Stream Deck, you'll see that the button has changed to the left and also on my screen to the left. So first of all, the software and the Stream Deck are real-time correspondence. So if I go to page one again, it immediately changes on the software and on the Stream Deck, which I think is really, really great. But because you have 15 keys on your Stream Deck doesn't mean that you can only use 15 uh, macros or commands or actions. And that's because right here you see this plus icon next to pages. And you can add a lot more pages if you want to. So you're not just limited to 15 options. You can have many, many more if you want or if you need to. But before we get ahead of ourselves, this was just a very quick, small overview. So let's just go to the top left. And here you can add a default profile, which I'm currently on. You can new profile and edit profile. And profiles are great if you host uh, small webinars or big webinars, because of course, you, not every webinar is as big as your biggest, obviously. Sometimes you just have a small camera like this one I'm using and just two lights and that's it. But sometimes you have four co-presenters, you have so many mics, you have so many apps that you suddenly want to show or open. It's like an end of the year webinar where you really want to tell everything that you did at the end of the year, so to say. And that is the perfect way to use profiles. So you can have a profile for just your small, well small, just your regular webinars and for the ones where you go all out. If you go to the right a little bit, you will see a sort of colorful Stream Deck. And that's because right here you can download extra plugins. And the plugins, if you look at my screen right now to the right, you will see Stream Deck System, multi access and Navigation. Those are drop down menus in order for you to find your uh, macros that you want to add a lot faster. So I will just show you some plugins. Here you will find a, a plugin for Twitch, uh, uh, the control center, which we will use in the second part. Uh, OBS right here, Spotify, I see Twitch, once again, another one for Twitch. Social, uh, Discord, uh, uh, it's themed as you can see, which is great. Uh, utilities, Lighting, Philips, U, um, Shadow Play, what else do we got that I wanted to show you? You also have uh, Vmix, of course, uh, YouTube Statistics, VLC Remote, you have a, even a MIDI one. You also have PowerPoint, you also have, let's see, 
you also have, uh, if you're using a Gato face cam, of course, that is great as well. Uh, you also have X-Split controller, which some of you might use. And you also have, but I don't see it right here. And you also have uh, one for voice meter. And that is, of course, very great if you have a, a small microphone or not a very large microphone and you need to put the gain up and it doesn't have a button like with the Blue Yeti mic and it doesn't have a button. Voice meter is a great free to download app where you can up your gain of your microphone, but of course not too loud. You will also have uh, uh, icon packets here, but I will go over that in the second part of this video series. Because right now I wanted to focus and let me just change something on my screen real quick where you will find uh, um, a, a little bit more when you download it for the very, very first time because I already used the Stream Deck. So let's say you open the app and you find it like this as you see on my screen right now. And you might not use Control Center, you might not e even use OBS Tool by Bar Raider, uh, you might not use Twitter or a Soundboard or something like that. If you go all the way to the top right, you will see this button right here with the three bullet points and the three lights. Click on it and now all these drop down menus where you can select your macros from have a sort of a blue check mark. And if I click on a check mark, uh, well, let's say I don't want to use a soundboard for this, for this profile or for more in general, or uh, I don't want to use Twitter for this one, I don't want to use uh, OBS or I don't want to use OBS Tools Bar Raider. Uh, we do need Control Center later on in this demo. And let's say I don't use uh, Streamless Desktop. So now we only have the control center, the navigation, the multi-action, the system and the stream deck, of course. Once you have selected or deselected all of these, just click on done right here. And now it's a lot more easier to find the macros that you really need. If you want to bring them back, of course, just click on it once again on the same button. And let's say you want uh, to show Twitter and you want to use soundboard, just click on done and there you go. And that is all that I wanted to show you. Like I said, this was just gonna be a very quick overview of the app because in the second part, we really start to customize and use the Stream Deck. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about webinars on how to host them, what gear to use, and what it is like to work at a tech startup, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click like on this video and hit that notification bell. And let me know, do you already use the Stream Deck for your webinars? Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.